Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can join fields together to create sentences rather than separate fields, which is great when creating reports or using forms. So what I want to do is quickly have a look at this table customers. And what I'm going to do first of all is create a query that's going to bring these three fields down and then I'm going to use the feature called concatenation to join those fields together so you can see the difference in what I'm talking about. So I'll close that down and create a query, create query design. Just drag that table across and then I'll just make this a little bit bigger. I want the first name column, surname column and company column like that. Now if I run that, run, you see it's all in separate columns but I want this all in one column. Now to do that I need to use a feature called concatenation which I've already mentioned. Now I'll stay in this query, I'll just go back into design and I'm going into this next column across. So let's say I want first name and surname to be together first of all and I'll join it with the company afterwards. I need to do shift and the function key F2 to zoom up so I can see what I'm doing. You also need to give it a title so I'll call this one heading. After you've done the title you need to do colon that will then tell access that that is the title and then you start the concatenation or joining process. So the first thing is going to be square bracket you have to put fields inside square bracket so first name inside a square bracket like that now if i left it like that it would just show me the first name and that's it which would be a duplicate of the first name column but i want to join it with the surname column now to do that you need to use the join tool which is the and sign which is that so i'm going to call it a glue symbol then you need to do a space now to get a space it's a text string basically you need to start with quotes now I'm doing the space bar, closing quotes, and then I need to join the surname field. So I'm doing the, the and symbol again. And now I'm going to open the square bracket and type surname and close the square bracket. Now I don't need to do another and sign at, at the end because I'm not going to add anything else in. So as long as that says what I want it to say, it should work. If I click OK to that, and then run the query you see that it's all joined together first name surname which is exactly how I want it with a space now if I wanted to put the company in there I could so if I go back into design and then just continue the process if I do shift f2 again to just zoom that up so I will have to do another and sign because I'm moving on so and, and then I'm going to open quotes. Now I want to put the word from, from inside quotes. Now you need to do spaces here. Just, just double check this when you run it, whether you've got the words correct. Now I need another and sign because I want to put the field company. So in square brackets, company, like so. That's what I want. Let's see what that does. So that's the concatenation done on that one. Open this up a little bit. So it's got my name from It's Easy, which is exactly how I wanted it, with the spaces like so. So if you run this and it's all stuck together, close together, it's the spaces between the quotes that you need to open up. You need to just do another space so it moves it across so it looks proper, like that. Now I'm going to do another one. I want to know what the company, which what the company name is. So it's going to be company and date founded. So I'll go back into design. Yep. So I'll get myself into a blank column at the end there. Do Shift F2, Shift F2, and I need to give it a title. And the title cannot be the same as a field. So I'll just call this established, established colon. So it's going to be company, first of all, in square brackets, company. Then I need to get an and sign, a glue point, if you like. And then open quotes, space. 
And then I'm going to do, in fact, I don't want a capital letter, it was founded on space, close quotes, and then another and sign to join the date field. So this is going to be open square brackets, date founded, close square brackets. Let's have a look at that one. Clicking OK to that, running the query. So now if I open that up, it's working fine, established, open it up, just widen it up. So it's easy, we established on that date there, which is coming from the date, the data table. Customers. So you've got a couple of examples there of how concatenation can work. And again, if you then pull this information through that field heading or established through into report, it's already concatenated for you. You can also do this at report level with the same symbols. But it's easier to do it, I think, at this level, just to check that the information is coming through correctly before you bring it into a report. Either way, it's a simple process. So that's all I want to talk about on this little session, how you can concatenate or join fields with text strings. So hopefully that was of use. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.